the main thing I try to convey to them, you know, is that we are here to do something that's out of the ordinary for you, that's memorable for you. You know, if you want 10,000 pens to give away at your trade show, you know, even if you don't care if it's the cheapest, but you just want pens, we're probably not the right fit for you. You know, probably the right fit for you is, you know, anybody you can find online. But if you want an idea or a way to use the pen, that would be memorable, you know, or something that is not a pen but can be used as a pen, or just something that's just out there, that's just different, that's where we come in. You know, and that's where we're going to find the most success together. So commodity uh, people, people who are simply looking for commodities, you just don't really even bother with that at all then? I don't. I don't. You know, if they want to fill me the business, you know, I, I, I've had referrals come in and say, hey, can, we just, can you just do these 5,000 hats for us and hear their logo? And I was like, is that all you want? I was like, yeah, that's all, that's all we need. We just want to do it for this trade show. You know, I was like, yeah, sure, I'll take it. They want to give me the business. I'll try to build on that. You know, I'll try to develop relationships and see where else we can take it. But if that's all they want to give me and it's easy like that, sure, I'll take it. But it's not something I'm looking for. I'm not actually searching these people. I get often referrals where people, where people come in and say, hey, can, can you bid on this? You know, we need triple bid on this. I was like, you know what? I don't really, we don't really bid because we end up being more expensive. And I said, well, you know, um, you know, if you just lower your price a little bit, you know, then you, know, you might be able to get it. I was like, you know, if I lower my price a little bit, then company C is going to lower their price, and then where does it stop? You know, I'm not going to waste your time. Find somebody else who, you know, will bid because we won't. That's nice. How do most people react to that? Most people don't like it at all. Uh, most people are like, oh, okay, whatever, because they don't know you. You know, you're a referral, you know. It's like, oh, okay, this person's not going to bid at all. But once in a while, you get that potential client who's like, oh, well, you know, thanks for being honest. I appreciate, you know, you giving us a chance. If you ever need something that's not bid on or something that you haven't decided on already, just my ideas, please let us know. And I've got one good client out of that. From a positioning standpoint, to be able to do that, I mean, that demonstrates a level of confidence. I mean, because it basically says, hey, listen, this is how we do business, and I, you know, I appreciate your thinking of me, but we're really not interested in bidding. And then at that point, they can either, well, they can, they can say, okay, thanks anyway, and then they're gone. But it definitely gets people thinking, I would think. Yeah, they, they, they remember who you are, whether it's good or bad. And let's be honest, if it's bad, it's bad in the sense that we don't want to bid, we're not the cheapest. That's not really bad, <laughs> in my opinion. If they think of us that way, like, okay, they're not the cheapest, I'm okay with that. You know, or they didn't want to be with us, I'm okay with that. If that's their level of bad, I'm fine with that. Um, we've done our share of bidding, you know, like, oh, my God, wow, this, is, this would be a potential great client, you know. We don't make any money on this, but we could make money in the future, you know. And you spend seven or eight hours bidding on this thing because you're talking to all these suppliers, and all the suppliers are saying, oh, you know, we just got three more phone calls from this. I was like, well, you know, we're, we're probably all bidding on the same thing. Can you make sure we all get the same price? That's fair. You, know, you don't know if that's going to happen or not. You know, suppliers have personal relationships with other distributors too. We've done our share of spinning our wheels and doing our bids and not even getting close and not even hearing back from potential clients whether you got the project or not and having to call them two or three times, four or five times to follow up and see if the project's still alive or not. And to be honest with you, Dave, I can't do it anymore. I don't want to waste the time. You know, I, of those 10 hours spent on a bid, I'd rather spend those 10 hours taking three clients out to dinner. You know, and having a good time and then having them remember that, hey, we had a good time. Let's, 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 let's give them another project. Yeah, it really says a lot about the way that you value your own time, and I, I think that's great. It took a long time to get there because it's scary turning away business. You don't have a steady paycheck. You know, it's scary to turn away business. How different is what you're doing now from what you were doing when you first started out? When I first started out, I would take any job possible. Oh, Joe's Pizza Shop wants 15 T-shirts. Um, can you do 24 T-shirts because that's the minimum is? No, we can't. You know, we only want 15. So you charge them for 24 anyways. You're still running and scrambling, and at the end of the day, you know, what did you make? You ended up making three bucks an hour. When she first started, I told her, you know what? I'm going to give you all the advice that I can right now, knowing where I am, but I know you're not going to listen to it. Just do what you're going to do, but I'll tell you what I would do in, in, in your place. And, you know, she'd send orders or, or get um, for advice and orders. Like, you know what? This is too small. It's not worth your time. You know, you're going to spend, you know, five hours on this and you're going to make $100. It's not worth your time. You know, they'll still do it because everybody does it in the beginning. You know, you have to learn and you have to start somewhere. And you have to close orders so that you can feel confident that you can close orders so that you can turn away business. You know, so in the beginning, it was what everybody else did. You know, any job that comes my way, I'm going to take it. I'm going to do it because I have to build my client base. But, you know, if you're any good at what you do, you have any confidence in yourself, you'll learn quickly that your time is worth more than that. You can't build a million-dollar business doing 100 t-shirts at a time. It just doesn't work.